Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will introduce the wiring method, structure type, and usage precaution covering three aspects. First, we will introduce the wiring method of voltage transformers. Voltage transformer in three phase circuit have common wiring methods. Wiring of single phase voltage transformers. This wiring can measure the line voltage between two phases. Mainly use in system of 35 kV and below with neutral points in non-directly grounded networks. Single phase wiring can also be used in neutral points in effectively grounded system to measure the phase to ground voltage. Mainly use in system of 110 kV and above with directly grounded neutral points. VV wiring. VV wiring, also known as incomplete star wiring, can be used to measure three line voltage for instrument and relays connected to the three phase three wire system to measure each line voltage. Mainly use insistence of 20 kV and below with ungrounded neutral points or grounded through suppression coil. One three phase three column voltage transformer YYN wiring used to measure line voltage. Since its primary winding cannot be drawn out, it cannot be used to monitor the ground insulation of the power grid. It is also not allowed to be used to measure phase to ground voltage. One three phase five column. Voltage transformer YNYNV wiring. In this wiring method, the primary winding of the transformer and the basic secondary winding are connected in a star configuration with the neutral point grounded. The auxiliary secondary winding is connected in an open delta configuration. It can measure both line voltage and feed voltage. It can also be used as an insulation monitoring device, widely used in small grounding current network. Three single phase three winding. Voltage transformer connected in YNYND wiring. This wiring method is mainly used in system of three kV and above to measure line voltage phase voltage, and zero sequence voltage. Next, we will introduce the structural type of voltage transformers. There are many forms of voltage transformers. Their structure is very similar to that of transformer with many similarity, mainly composed of the primary winding, secondary winding, core and insulation, etc. Cast type voltage transformers. Cast type has a compact structure and is easy to maintain, suitable for indoor products of 335 kV with the and the development of outdoor resin. It will gradually be used in outdoor products of more than 35 kV. This is JDZ10 type. Cast type single phase voltage transformer. Outline diagram. Its core is three quadrant type. The primary and secondary winding are concentric, cylindric, cast together with leads using epoxy resin and fixed on the base plate. The core is exposed, made of heat treated cold rolled silicon steel sheet stack in oriented forming a semi enclosure structure all your immerse voltage transformers the structure of all your immerse voltage transformer is very similar to that of small power transformers divided into ordinary type and the cascade type jsjw10 type oil immerse Three phase five column voltage transformer. This is the outline diagram of this type of voltage transformer. 
uh, among them, A is the schematic diagram, B is the outline diagram. The middle three columns of its core are fitted with three phase welding respectively. The two side column acts as the zero sequence magnetic flux pass when single phase grounded. The primary and secondary winding are all YN connection. The remaining winding are connected in an open delta. JCC 220 type cascade voltage transformer. This is a principal wiring diagram of this type of voltage transformer. The body of the transformer consists of two cores, primary winding, balancing winding, coupling winding, and secondary winding, installed in an oil-filled porcelain tank. The primary winding consists of four elements with equal turn, respectively mounted on the upper and lower iron column of the two core and connected in series in the order of porcelain column series connection, connected between phase and ground. On each core, the midpoint of the winding is connected to the core. The secondary winding is wound on the lower iron core of the last core. The coupling winding has the same winding direction and is connected in reverse. SF six gas insulated voltage transformers. SF six voltage transformer come in two structural forms. One is for GIS application combination type. The other is standalone type. Standalone type adds the high voltage lead out part, including the primary winding high voltage lead out line, high voltage porcelain bushing and its clamp. Capacitive voltage transformers. Capacitive voltage transformers have a simple structure, lightweight, compact, low cost. The higher the voltage, the more effective the result. In addition, the voltage dividing capacitor can also serve as a coupling capacitor for carrier communication, widely used in 10,000 and 500 kV directly grounded neutral system for voltage measurement, power measurement, relay protection, and carrier communication. Finally, we will introduce the usage precaution of voltage transformer. The secondary side of the voltage transformer must not be short circuited because the voltage transformer primary winding is connected in parallel with the measured circuit to the high voltage network. The secondary winding has fewer turns low impedance. If a short circuit occurs, a larger short circuit current will be generated, which may damage the voltage transformer and even affect the safe operation of the permissive circuits. Therefore, the voltage transformer's primary and secondary side should be equipped with fuses. The core of the voltage transformer and one end of the secondary winding must be grounded. The core of the voltage transformer and the secondary winding are grounded to prevent high voltage from the primary winding entering the secondary winding. When the insulation between the primary and secondary winding is broken, endangering the safety of personnel and secondary equipment. When wiring the voltage transformer, the, the correct polarity of the terminal must be observed. Polarity refers to the phase relationship between the induced electromotive forces of the primary and secondary winding. When wiring ensure that the primary and secondary windings lead and end 
label and identical terminal are correct. The load capacity of the voltage transformer should not exceed the rated capacity corresponding to the accuracy class. If the load is too large, it will reduce the accuracy of the voltage transformer. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you, everyone.